There's a home in Greensboro that likely makes you turn your head when you drive down Washington Street downtown. It's been there since 1795. It is truly a historic home and museum in our community. Fox 8's Katie Nordine gives us a tour of the Blandwood Museum and tells us about a special exhibit you can see right now. Blandwood is the ancestral home of the Moorhead family. So this was the home of John Motley Moorhead, who was the governor of North Carolina in the 1840s. Um, he really operated on a platform of education, transportation, and business, um, which are still important to us even today. This home represents life in North Carolina in the 19th century for one of the state's most influential families. Whether it's Moorhead City or Moorhead Avenue in Charlotte or Durham or Moorhead uh, Planetarium at Chapel Hill, uh, the Moorhead family had a great deal of influence on the sh shaping North Carolina through history. The Blandwood Mansion is full of furniture and art that proved Moorhead's taste was progressive. The furniture that's inside is a blend of North Carolina furniture, but also New York furniture and Philadelphia furniture. The architect of the building was A.J. Davis, who was a New York architect. And even on the art on the walls uh, was inspired by a Hudson River painter in New York State. Right now, this National Historic Landmark is celebrating the architecture and furniture of Thomas Day. Thomas Day was a free man of color who really operated the largest furniture manufacturing business in the state of North Carolina in the 1800s. He operated that out of Milton, North Carolina, on the Virginia state line. He contributed architectural features like mantles and front porches to houses, but he also designed very innovative vernacular furniture that's special and very collectible today in North Carolina. There are about a dozen pieces on display at Blandwood Museum. Some come from the North Carolina Museum of History in Raleigh. Others are part of private collections the public never sees. So when you come to Blandwood Museum today, you'll learn about Thomas Day, you'll learn about the architectural style of his furniture, the materials that were used, and maybe even how to identify some Thomas Day furniture when you go out shopping for antiques on weekends. There is also something special outside of the house that visitors can enjoy while touring the grounds. We have a rose garden that has vintage uh, roses that date back to the 1800s and even some to the 1700s. And there's also grassy yards where you can have a picnic. In Greensboro. It's a treasure and it's a jewel that's uh, sort of a hidden treasure. Katie Nordine, Fox 8 News. And there's also the Blandwood Carriage House with a garden pavilion that you can even rent for a special event. The Blandwood Museum is open Tuesdays through Saturdays from 11 to 4 and then on Sundays between 2 and 5. Admission to visit is $8.